Hello everybody, here's a little video in which I lay out my five-step plan to grow my YouTube channel in 2019, or whatever year you're watching this in. Okay, I'm no YouTube expert. I'm no YouTube guru. I spent all of last year making videos, um, but just kind of randomly throwing them up there. And you know, uh, the response was okay, but it wasn't great. It didn't skyrocket like I hoped that it would. But I started doing a bit of research, how you can do things differently, how you can uh, better play to the YouTube algorithm and all those kind of things. And a lot of it made sense to me. So I started tweaking how I did things and holy Dyna Shore classic. Did it ever take off? Uh, it's almost doubled in the span of uh, a couple of months. So I want to keep the train going. I want to keep the rocket ride shooting for the stars, right? I want to keep the YouTube rocket heading to galaxy success. So um, here's here's uh, here's what I'm gonna here's my plan. Here's what I'm gonna do. First of all, be more articulate. Here's here's what I, here's what I'm gonna do. Five step plan. Step number one. Since I'm a, a comedian, I do live shows. I would tour around the country doing live stand up shows. I'm going to always make a point of telling the crowd that, uh, you know, I have a YouTube channel, youtube.com slash the butt pod. Come on over, sub subscribe. I've kind of been, you know, stupidly for a long time. I was kind of leery to d just get the word out. I don't know why. Why don't I do a lot of the things I don't do? Nobody knows. I mean, maybe somebody does. Maybe if some very smart person who was trained in how the brain works studied me for five to seven years, they would understand. They would have an idea why I do or don't do the things. I do. But but for, for the purposes of this video, I don't know why I didn't say it. But I started saying it. I started shooting. You can go you can go down and uh, look at some of the videos that I shot live on the road. Some of them I end my show by taking my camera out on stage in front of the crowd and kind of uh, doing a little back and forth or a little tete a tete with a bunch of different tets out in the audience. And um, since I've started doing that, I've noticed a real uptick. Not, I don't want to lose you with the technical mumbo jumbo, but there's been an uptick in the subscribers. So, so that's great. So that's number one, spread the word at my live shows. Number two, I think I'm going to start uh, trying to do uh, some collaborations with other YouTubers. You know, I, I know some YouTubers who have a significant audience. Hey, uh, Steve Dotto over at Dotto Tech has been very helpful to me in letting me pick his substantial brain. If you're not subscribed to uh, Steve Dotto's channel, Dotto Tech, get on over there, subscribe to that. He tells you how, how to use different softwares and hardware sometime to, to maximize your efficiency online and all those kind of things. And he's also just a fun and entertaining uh, guy. You know, he's got, I don't know, almost a quarter of a million viewers or subscribers. And he's, he's let me pick his brain. So he, he's been terrific um, resource. And I said to him, hey, why don't we do a little video? So we're going to probably at some point in the future, in the near future, in the year 2019, we're going to maybe do a little collab. It cross pollinates. Talk about scientific mumbo jumbo. It cross pollinates. That's graphically unnecessary what I'm doing there. Introducing people to each other. Networking, is that a thing that still gets done even though it's not the 80s? Sure, we network. Um, so anyway, I might be doing some of those kind of collabs as they say in the business, collabs, collaborations. It's a valuable time saver. Collab, you're dropping two syllables. Look, look at the time I've saved. The third way that I'm going to try and uh, increase my subscriber base. Um, and this, you know what I've decided since this is all, you know, this is all tech based. I decided, what if we threw an old school wrinkle at this? So what if I uh, had business cards printed up that basically promoted my YouTube channel? Business cards that said, you know, youtube.com slash the butt pod. I don't know I don't know exactly what circumstance I would hand those out to people, but I don't know, maybe I'd pin it up on a bulletin board in the coffee shop, maybe at the grocery store. I don't know. If I'm ever talking to somebody about my channel, maybe I hand out the business card. Old school. I, I thought this might be in, an interesting thing to do. An old school take on a, on a modern technological platform, right? Business cards. They're as old as time itself, or at least goes back to the 20s. Or earlier, I think Sherlock Holmes had a business card. That's the 1890s or something. Anyway, that's all. Uh... My point is business cards. I'm going to try doing that. There should be, uh, it'll be cool. I don't know if cool is the word, but 
The fourth way I'm going to start growing my YouTube channel. I've already started. I've done it a couple times now. Live streaming. Oh, I've had a hell of a good time. Live streaming. A lot of fun. The response has been fantastic. The, the, the viewer response has been great. The watch time hours have been fantastic. People are sticking around. Um, so I'm very encouraged by the results of that. And whether that works or not, early signs are good that it's going to work regardless. It's uh, having a ton of fun. We're doing like a Q and A. People who subscribe to the channel, they, uh, they ask me questions or you don't even have to be subscribed. You should be subscribed. Why, why the deuce would you not be subscribed to the channel? See, they, they made it very easy, one button. And people ask me questions in the little chat window beside the live uh, feed, and it's a lot of fun. So uh, check that out. If you subscribe to this, I always post up a little community notification saying when I'm going to go live. I'll try and give people a couple, two, three days advance warning that I'm going to be going live in case you want to get the kids out of the house. I don't know why you would want to do that. Put the pets to bed. And the fifth and final for this video anyway. If I, if I have another idea, I'm not gonna stop at five. I'm not gonna say no, no more good ideas. I've had five. But for the purposes of this video, the fifth and final way that I've decided to try and grow my subscriber base is just to straight up ask. A little human contact, is that so crazy in this day and age? Just ask people to subscribe. I'm asking you now, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, click on that the subscribe button right now. And uh, I'm asking people to spread the word. Uh, share these videos, talk to coworkers, say, hey, you, you know, if you're ever on YouTube, there's a fun channel over there called The Butt Pod. It's the video component to uh, The Butt Pod podcast, the audio podcast, which I recommend you check out too. If you're a podcast person, if you like to listen to podcasts, that's the thing that started this. I started this video channel to be a component to my audio podcast, The Butt Pod. But I, I found that I do a lot more here on YouTube. This is easier for me to just do something quick and easy by myself. With a podcast, you need guests and everything. Scheduling conflicts. I travel around a lot, so it's difficult for me to... Uh, get, the logistics of that is trickier. But anyway, I'm asking people, uh, yourself included, spread the word, tell your friends about the Butt Pod channel. I'm very encouraged from the start of uh, this year. Uh, you know, my, my channel has doubled in subscriber base. And we're only a quarter of the way through here. A third of the way? quarter of the way i'm not good with math but they, there's more people now than there were before that's the nuts and bolts of the whole thing that's the crux of the video thanks for watching corner gas animated too by the way which uh here's a little plug for my tv show corner gas animated you know it's always been able to stream in canada on crave tv it airs on comedy network and it streams on crave tv the original corner gas also streams on Crave TV, the original live action, 107 episodes of the movie. But if you were outside of Canada, uh, you couldn't see it anywhere. Well, now you can. In 60 countries outside of Canada, it's available on Amazon Prime Video. You can watch the original 107 uh, episodes of the live action series and the movie. And hopefully, somewhere in the very near future, uh, in the not too distant future, let's say that, um, it'll, the uh, Corner Gas Animated will be available to stream outside of Canada as well. We're having a lot of fun. The response to the animated show has been absolutely fantastic. So thanks to everybody who watched it. That's it for me. I'm rambling too much now. But remember, spread the word, share, cl click subscribe, honk the dingle and tweak the gooby, and we'll see you shortly.